Hello everyone, I'm Nick. Welcome to Hogwarts. Let's continue our Hogwarts mystery. We are about to continue with the main story, Year 5, Chapter 3, Main Story Part 3 and 4. Research Petri's Curse with your friends. Study Extension Charms in the Charms Classroom. Go! Charms Classroom. Study Extension Charms. I hope you don't think I had anything to do with that dark wizard who attacked us. I'm not. Do you think the dragon portrait we found is a clue to saving Beatrice? Is it true that you and Marula are working together? For now, at least. Excuse me, Professor Flitwick. I was hoping I could ask you about extension charms. Hmm. Extension charms are already part of the curriculum, Mr. Cowdog. I know, but I was thinking that some sort of extension charm may have been used to trap Beatrice Haywood. Hmm. I had a similar thought. I suppose I can delve deeper if there's any chance that it could help Miss Haywood. Alright, can I learn that? Study extension charms. Start. The incantation is Capacious Extremis. Use the extension charms is a threat to the International Statute of Secrecy. What is that? Someone could use these spells to trap hundreds of wizards in a tiny container. Oh yes, of course. The spells also render the contents of a given object lighter. It says captivity enchantment is not for private use. If Beatrice is trapped by an extension charm, who cast it? Yeah, who? The fault. A ministry department decides which object can use extension charms. Do I have to report that to the ministry? Any one of these objects could contain something massive. Success! Collect! Thank you, Professor. I understand much more about extension charms. I just wish I knew if that's what you was used to trap Beatrice. Oh. I have a feeling that this is something ancient. Something sinister. How can I help her? You should let your teachers and the ministry find a solution. Of course, the past four years have shown me that you are incapable of standing idly by. Hmm. Try speaking to Nelly Headless Nick. If this curse is as old as I believe, he may know something of its origin. Why don't ask Merlin himself? Study extension charms. Done. Meet Marula. Meet me in the corridor, Cowdog. It's time we revealed our secrets. 
What secrets? Is that oh side quest? Animagus adventure with Marula. Yes, that's for the next episode then. So help Patrice with nearly headless dig. Meet Nick in the green staircase. Green staircase. All right. So let's do the lessons first. Impedimenta, go. Defense against the Dark Arts Classroom, Impedimenta. Learn Impedimenta Jinx. Start. Impedimenta Lecture. Welcome back to Defense Against the Dark Arts. Today we'll be learning the Impedimenta Jinx. Impedimenta. Its wide variety of uses makes it particularly handy in dueling. I'll be making this lecture quick, so try to keep up. What if I don't pass any of my owls? Will I be expelled? Maybe. The fence against the dark arts. Nick Kaudok, care to answer this question about impedimenta? Answer question. What does the impediment jinx do? Temporarily slows a target, breaks a target's leg. What makes a target limp? Temporarily slows a target? Maybe. I have no idea. Impedimenta Demonstration oh. I will now demonstrate how to cast Impedimenta Impedimenta won't defeat an enemy but it can help give you an upper hand It's like I've forgotten 4 years worth of defense against the dark arts lessons I'm thinking of starting a Nifler Appreciation Club. Want to join? Call me in. Mm. Focus class, I won't demonstrate again. Focus! Find cursed objects. <sighs> Nikaudok Tulip Karasu, I'll need you to, to look at some cursed objects before we can continue. Inside this class. I'm not sure I like that gleam in Tulip's eyes. Tulip and I make a good team. Yes. I wonder if I can stop you, Nick. Answer question. Who's my favorite person to prank? Dumbledore. No. Fields? Litwick? Discern impediment jinx. Observe Miss Burke and Mr. Cooper's demonstration of the impediment jinx. Wow, oh, poor Ben. I think I know what jinx this is.
Nick Caudock, please cast the counter change for Impedimenta on Mr. Cooper before he fades from fright. Cast counter change. Prepare to defend against what? Your final test will be defending yourself against the impediment jinx. Take this time to review and prepare. I wonder if it's possible to break through an impediment jinx by sheer willpower. What? Nikadok, come up here and demonstrate the proper way to defend against Impedimenta. Cast Impedimenta. What's wrong with you, Ismelda? Yeah, that's slow motion. Success! Learn Impedimenta! Collect! Impedimenta! Done! So next is this. Main story part 4. Help Patrice with nearly headless, headless Nick. Beat Nick in the grand staircase. Go! Grand staircase. Beat Nick in the grand staircase. Ooh, Mrs. Norris. Hiss! Thank you. I will forever be a proud Slytherin. Wow, Merlin. Nice. It is I, Sir Cardigan, Conqueror of Wyvern of Y. Alright. Thanks for meeting me, Nick. <laughs> Think nothing of it, Nick. I've simply been visiting with this poor young Hufflepuff. She reminds me of myself, you know, trapped in a place that is neither here nor there. Has anything like this ever happened before? Years ago, there was a rumor of someone trapped in a painting in the lower chamber's portrait corridor. When I arrived to investigate, the victim was already free. If there was ever any truth to the rumor to begin with, how many years ago? Five? Then perhaps it's easy to lose track of a decade when you've been around for five centuries. Wow. Allow me to discuss the matter with these portraits. We have quite a bit of history. Alright, history time. Talk to portraits with Nick. Start. This is a trap guarding the mouth of an all-consuming beast. What? Nick, it's you. Have you, Patty? Tell her, her. What? Can you speak clearly? This mysterious fiends will fall to my sturdy something. She was drawn to the portrait by a sound. Crackling, then the flapping of wings. A creature? Could any portrait trap a student or is there something different about this one? As the one who moves the portraits, they are nothing but an empty cloak. Empty cloak? What? I told the child to keep her distance but her bravery rivals my own. Ah, you're looking for trouble, huh, Beatrice? So this young Hufflepuff touched the frame and was pulled into the portrait. So it is a curse. I should learn more about how these portraits are created.
This mysterious feast will fall to my sturdy, warm, and loyal body. Okay. Success! Collect! So, Beatrice approached the portraits because she heard strange sounds like crackling and the flapping of wings. The people in the portraits warned her not to touch this one, but she did and was immediately pulled inside. And Merlin thinks this is just a trap leading to something much worse. Hmm. Not to mention his revelation that a faceless interloper has been tampering with the portraits for some time. It sounds just like the dark wizard who attacked me and threatened to kill one of my friends. Who's the best person to talk about how these portraits are created? Headmaster Dumbledore, he's wise beyond his years and his gift for magic is unmatched. But he's away from Hogwarts most of the time. Perhaps Professor Pins, his knowledge of magical history and its innumerable intricacies is all encompassing but if he isn't teaching he's most likely having a gift it's true that he sleeps more than any ghost i know snore more too you might try our resident portrait painter she's just experimenting with the craft but is quite wise for her age who's that she's a student <laughs> Do you not know of Peria Ali? She can usually be found in the clock tower courtyard during the afternoon. You make the so that's Peria task. Ali. Chapter 3 complete. The tension before extension. Collect. Chapter 4. Opposite day. You meet a new friend who has a creative solution for finding the curse fault and freeing Patrice. Leading you down an unexpected path. Start. You mean that Peria Ali girl? Alright then. I'll take it. Meet Nick in the grand staircase. Done. Meet Peria Ali. Meet me in the courtyard, Nick. Alright. So, year 5, chapter 4, main story part 1 to 6. Uncover the secrets of magic with Peria Ali. And the lessons? Belladonna. What is that? And reversing. That's a flying. Lessons. Alright, I'm gonna do this lesson. And year 5 chapter 4 on the next episode. I'm going to conclude this episode here after completing this main story year 5 chapter 3. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And see you guys on the next Hogwarts Mystery.